I'm Rick Lee with Affiliated Steam and Hot Water, and today I'm going to show you how to prevent boiler feed pump failure with using the proper check valve. The challenge for a boiler feed pump is that it has to handle extremely hot condensate which is being fed into the boiler. The boiler is typically under a very high pressure, typically anywhere from 15 to 125 pounds. What we need is a check valve between the boiler and the boiler feed pump which eliminates any of the backflow of that hot condensate and steam back into the boiler feed pump. If that check valve fails, that can cause the boiler feed pump to cavitate, thereby causing a failure and shutting down your system. I'll explain further what is the best type of check valve to use to eliminate any backflow of hot condensate into your boiler feed pump. There are typically three types of check valves used on boiler feed systems today. We have a swing check, a double door check, and a spring-loaded disc type non-slam check valve. First I want to talk about the swing check valve. This device is typically very inexpensive. It's typically used in plumbing systems and when you use it on a boiler feed system you have the problem of handling hot condensate and steam. The problem with this type of check is that it uses a flapper device, you can kind of hear it here, and it's, it's basically a pin on a hinge or a fulcrum. The problem with this is, is that when the pump is running, the flow is opening the flapper, and then when the pump stops, that flapper is pushed back in a very strong motive force from the high pressure boiler and condensate. When that slams, it puts a very strong pressure on the pin, and this is a wear point that causes failure. Typically what happens then is the flapper will break away from the pin, or the pin will break, and luckily with this type of device, that flapper is encaged in the body, and it doesn't flow downstream into the boiler. The other problem with this, as I mentioned, the allowable leak rates that this valve is manufactured under is that under normal conditions on a boiler feed pump we can still get leakage back to the boiler feed pump which can cause cavitation problems and failure. I don't recommend using swing check valves on a boiler feed application. Now what we're going to talk about is the double door check valve. This is somewhat similar to the swing check valve in that it has a fulcrum point like the swing check valve, but it is center mounted with a, a rod or a pin which guides two flappers. Here again we have a wear point at the top and bottom of this fulcrum or guide and we have a wear point here. Similarly to the swing check, this will wear out and as the flow of a boiler feed pump opens these two flappers, when we stop the pump, or the, the pump stops, the flow then wants to push these closed and we get a slamming effect which causes a huge wear point at the fulcrum of the center guide. If this check valve were to fail, it would fail at the center guide, allowing these two flappers to be displaced and the problem with this is there's nothing to capture these two flappers and they could be pushed downstream into the boiler. That's a big problem. This type of check too I do not recommend using on boiler feed pumps. Next we're going to talk about the spring-loaded disc type non-slam check valve. This type of check valve is typically called non-slam and the reason for that is after the flow stops, the spring actually closes the disc before the back pressure or high pressure from the boiler can slam the disc shut. 
During my years out in the field, I've had many customers having boiler feed pump problems. When they asked me to look at their pumps, I noticed they have two to three swing type check valves installed in series. I then recommend using a DFT spring-loaded non-slam disc type check valve and after they've installed this and replaced the multiple swing check valves, I've had many satisfied customers. I like this valve because first of all it's very simple. It's a design that you can see really only has two moving parts and it's very reliable. It's dependable and it will last for years. I'm Rick Lee with Affiliated Steam and Hot Water and today I showed you how to prevent boiler feed pump failure by using a DFT spring-loaded disc type check valve. For more tips and videos go to affiliatedsteam.com today. 